What's going on guys, FM Wizard here and today I'm bringing you a video on how to install stadium and town pictures into your football manager game. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, with some skins they have a space for the stadium picture to go and a city picture. So as you see here on the flute skin dark I'm using, I think there's a light version as well. I'll put both versions in the description below. So if you like the look of the skin, you can download them in the description. So as you see in the club info page, they have a Stamford Bridge, obviously managing Chelsea and London, because that's the city they're based in. Also, if we click on Stamford Bridge, there's a spot here for a full screen image. So I'm sure you how to install those as well. So just before we get into this tutorial, I'd like to give a massive shout out to Mike Millwood, who suggested this video. Um, it's a great idea that I probably wouldn't have thought of because I don't use the skin personally. So please feel free to just put in any tutorials you want me to do um, in the comments and I'll try and get around to doing them because it just helps he heaps. Because um, it's hard to think of ideas for videos. But yeah, it means a lot. Thanks heaps to Mike Millwood and let's get into this video. So if you've watched a bunch of my other tutorials, you know that with everything when installing graphics into Football Manager, you're going to need WinRAR. So if you haven't already got it by now, which I doubt that anyone watching this video hasn't got it. Um, but anyway, if you haven't got it, get the relevant setup and install it onto your PC and then we'll move on to the next step. So for this video, we're going to be using the FMT Stadium Super Pack on FM Scout. I'll obviously leave the links to all these in the description below. Um, so just download this. This is all the stadium packs that you, uh, photos that you'll need. So you download that one, and then we'll move across to the Flute Skin Cities Mega Pack, also on FM Scout. So this is all your city pits, uh, pictures. So the last one in this video is a bit of a Flute Skin exclusive. So this is that full screen stadium thing that I showed you in the game. And also, you can set it as the background for your save. So there's like backgrounds you can get in the Flute Skin. I'll show you at the end of the video. And you can set it to be the stadium, your team stadium. So if you're PSG, you can obviously have your stadium in the background. Which I think is pretty cool. It made me use the skin more because I thought the background was kind of ugly. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Let's install the things. So as we can see here, I've downloaded our three packs. So we're going to start with the installation of the super pack. So the first one I told you to download. So just click on it. Go right click. And then just go extract files. And just hit OK. Alright, so once that's done, you should get a folder like this. Just a normal folder, not a WinRAR. Now we want to navigate to our Football Manager directory. So your default Football Manager directory is on screen now. Um, and it's also in the description below. So you can just copy that out. If you've changed it, just go to wherever you've changed it to. But if it's default, it should still be this. So copy that description, paste it in this bar up here. And then just get rid of the your user and the asterisk. Type whatever your user is and hit enter. Now this is your graphics directory. So if you have a graphics folder, great, cl click on it. If you don't have a graphics folder, just make one. So call it graphics as so. Click on that and then you can make a subfolder if you want to keep it neat. You don't have to. Call it stadiums. Click on there and then just copy. And paste. And then bang, that's your stadiums installed. So moving on to the city pictures. As you can see here, I've extracted it. So remember just to click on it, right click and go extract files, then hit OK. It's created this folder here, but as you can see here, it's, just, it's got a subfolder. So just make sure when you're installing graphics, there's no subfolder. So I see it's got another city pics and you click on that and it's got all the pictures. So in order to avoid this, just copy the actual folder that contains all the images. Sometimes it won't work if it has a subfolder in it. Um, so that's a pretty big detail just to watch out for. Usually you can tell once you've extracted it. Because as you can see here, this stadium pack's got like heaps of folders in it, or files in it, sorry. And this one's just a blank folder. So look out for that. It's a little detail, but it a, means a lot in the long run. So if we jump back over to our graphics folder, we want to make a new one. Or you can just paste it straight in, depending how you work. I like to keep it neat, so we're going to call it cities. So click on that, and then just paste that in. So as you can see here, we'll just click on it. And yeah, no subfolder. So just watch out for that. So moving on to our last installation of the video is our backgrounds. So as you can see here, I've uh, extracted it. So it looks like there's a similar situation with the city pics that there's a subfolder because it's got a, a blank folder. And yeah, there is. So as you can see, we need this folder, basically the first folder where it's got the countries in it. So we want to click on it and it has the countries. So we just want to copy this folder out, jump back over to our graphics, make a new folder. And we're going to call it backgrounds this one now I highly recommend this uh, this structure with the subfolders 
because when you just plunk them all in and you got lots of graphics, the game can get confused. So I highly recommend just to keep things smooth, make these subfolders for the game. And then you just want to paste the stadiums folder into your backgrounds. All right, so that's that installed. Let's jump into the game and see if these worked. All right, so now that we're back into our game, we're just going to click on Preferences, go to this Advanced tab here, go to this drop down and go Interface, and then go down to the Skin subheading, unclick the first box, and tick the second one and hit Confirm. All right, now that that's done, let's jump into a save. So loading back into the save, straight away we can see a massive difference, and that's in the background. We have Stamford Bridge in the background, as we are managing Chelsea, obviously. If we jump over to the club info, it takes a bit of a while. There we go. And as you can see here, we've got a picture of Stamford Bridge on the right. I think they've switched spots since the start of the video. But anyway, and on the left here, we have a, the picture of London, which is a strange picture to choose for London. But um, we can see this works. If we go over to Manchester United, and I see here, there's a picture of Old Trafford in the Manchester picture and a picture of Old Trafford in the Old Trafford picture. So obviously... Old Trafford is in Manchester, so the installation's right, even though the London pitch is a bit weird. Anyway, it's pretty cool, actually. I didn't think it would be this good, but um, <laughs> to be honest. But in the Melbourne victory, as you can see here, there's a picture of Melbourne and the Amy Park. Nice stadium, Amy Park, nice stadium. And then if we jump over to Amy Park, we go full screen image, and as you can see here, there's a full screen image of Amy Park. I'll show you that in Stamford Bridge as well. So as you can see here, the installation was a success. And I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. Uh, leave any suggestions for a future tutorial in the, in the comments. A big shout out to Mike uh, for suggesting this video. Leave a like if this video helped you and subscribe for more Football Manager content. Thanks for watching.